outstanding and ready to go. So tuna poke today. That's right, so a beautiful uh, raw fish dish. We're using tuna today and it's a Hawaiian dish. And it's become so much more popular over Very the last popular. couple of years. Yeah, it? you see all these like stores popping up yeah. and, and you know, it's a really tasty, fresh, healthy way to eat actually. So I thought we'd bring it back in, you know, summer's coming. so. You know, you can get all the ingredients and make it a little bit later on in the show. Yum, yum, yum. I'm looking forward to getting started on this pulque very soon. Just look at all those ingredients. Absolutely beautiful. And we'll keep you updated with what you need a little later on. It's great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen and so much more to come on the show as we'll find out what the Gorilla Collection has in store for us with performer Bella Kalulu and award-winning writer Victor Roger. Right now, though, we are in the Beko Kitchen and we are making a favourite Hawaiian dish this morning, Mark. It is a poke. A poke. And yeah. do you know what it means? Well, kind of. It's basically taking slices of fish and putting it in a marinade. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> I'm sure you can make it sound a bit, bit better than that, but that is the basic gist of it. Nice. And, it, and it's really good. It's really simple, packed full of flavour, and as I said before, you know, it's great for summer and it's really healthy and tasty. And right. nice and quick too, which we like. So pay attention, we're going to go through it pretty quick. Yeah, that's yeah. it, really yeah. quick. So uh, we're going to use tuna today. So we've got a beautiful uh, tuna um, fillet there. Beautiful. You, but you could use, um, you could use any um, fish you mm. wanted. You know, I think we've done it with salmon in the past. That's really nice. You know, it's a really oily fish. You've got all nice. the soys and um, uh, honey and a little bit of chilli on there and sesame oil. So it works really well with that as well. And you probably could even do it with um, some snapper if you slice it thin, if you wanted to and if you had that at hand. OK, it's cool. So snapper would be your preference. Yeah, so yeah, okay, you cool. could, um, you know, whatever you want. Nice. So ba basic sort of gist of um, whatever fish you choose, you could do it. You, I mean, you could even do it with chicken if you wanted, you know? Mm, OK, well, there you go. Chicken and bacon, that'd be right up your street. Yeah, well, it would be, yes. Right, so I'm just going to do a little dice of uh, red onion. Which so you always do so well, which infuriates me. Still can't do this <laughs> you at should home. Be, uh, you, I thought you'd been practising for the I last know, three well, years. I, I tried at home and I'm like, what, what is it that Mark's got that I don't have? <laughs> Skill. <laughs> <laughs> well, and a sharp knife. Oh, yeah, yeah, a sharp knife. I mean, that's, that always helps. Right, so a um, little uh, dice of uh, red onion. Yes. So if you're going to leave it raw, we'll just remember, use uh, red onion, okay. a spring onion. It's a little bit sweeter, um, yeah. Yeah, a little bit sweet, uh, less sharp. You know, it gives you a nice crunch and cuts through the uh, the richness of the tuna. Nice. Um, obviously, don't use uh, just white onion because then that can be quite strong. OK, great. And you've got some water boiling right, here. What's yeah. that for a little later on? Uh, no, for now. I've got okay, some spring cool. onion there as well, yep. so that's going to go in there. So beautiful colours coming. I've got a little bit of water, um, which I've just brought to the boil, and I've got this uh, nori. So these are nori okay. sheets, you know, yeah. what you wrap the uh, sushi with. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that in a bowl, and then carefully just going to pour the water over the top. I'm going to give it about five minutes. It's going to rehydrate, uh, and then we're going to cut it up, and that's going to give us this extra flavour through the uh, poke, through our mix. And that's that all, all the really umami flavours, you know, from that seaweed. Well, no, because I'm getting confused, because I thought this was like a Hawaiian dish. Well, it is Hawaiian, but they're putting seaweed in. Okay. But we've got lots of different uh, types of seaweed. So we're rehydrating, so we get a nice, soft umami flavour oh, yeah, um, from we the seaweed. We've, got, we've yep. got some wakame here, mm -hmm. which is all ready to go, so nice texture on that and nice. great flavour. And, and I've got these, like, dried um, uh, nori crisps as well, so that's going to give us a nice little crunch on top to garnish with it. And you can just buy this all at the supermarket, yeah, can't you? You get the yeah. sheets of seaweed now, eh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. What do they the, actually the, call it? Uh, nori. Nori, there you go. So there's nori, wakame. Right, so I'm just going to dice this uh, tuna now. So I want to leave it quite chunky, mm -hmm. and then just go through, just go through and dice it. And if you've got any sort of sinew or any parts like that, just get right. rid of that. You get know, rid of them. if it doesn't look uh, nice and you don't want to eat it, don't put it in. That's the sort of general rule. And, and just look how soft this uh, fish is. The cat loves the offcuts. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> as long as there's no bones in it. Okay. <laughs> Fussy cat. <laughs> So, you know. Well, that smells so good already, isn't it? It's just a tuna. It's so good. And, it, you know, there's a little tip for you. Yeah. Um, you know, as we always talk about cooking meat and bringing it out of the fridge just um, a little bit before, yeah. you know, tuna or fish, if you want to dice it up, just keep it in the fridge, take it out, and then dice it. Oh, so it's a little bit more firm. Yeah, so okay. if it's colder, it's going to be a lot more firmer. Nice. And we're going to actually marinate this in a minute, and then you want to leave it about five minutes to marinate to get all those flavours through. So, you know, get it straight out of the fridge so it's cold, and then dice it. I'm going to show well, you what to put in there next. Cool, we will. We'll come back and show you the rest of this. More of this recipe coming up straight after we catch up with Holly. We are making a tuna poke, and uh, I tell you what, it is smelling fantastic, and we haven't even started <laughs> marinating this fish. <laughs> so our uh, seaweed's going? Yep, so the yep. seaweed's uh, just been rehydrating, so just carefully lift it out because the water's still going to be warm. Mm -hmm. You know, give it um, 
ideally put it in a, a tablecloth and just squeeze out all the liquid. Could you put it in one of your salad spinners? <laughs> um, Give it a spin or will it fall to bits? <laughs> yeah, it's probably better just to okay. do it on a tea towel. Okay, do it on a and tea towel. And then what we're going to do now is just going to chop it up. Okay, so finely chop. Yeah, oh, careful of that. And then, and then that goes in there as well. Yum. Okay. Look at that. So that's going to give us a great Brilliant. sort of umami, deep flavour mm. in there. So that's great, right? You can start stirring that up. Okay. And then we've got some ingredients now. So this is the marinade. So a little yep. bit of soy sauce goes soy in sauce. there. Soy sauce. Yeah. Bit of rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. Soy sauce. Rice vinegar. Oh, this smells good. And sesame oil. Oh, I love sesame oil. And a little bit of honey there for a little bit of sweetness as well. So that goes oh, okay. in there. So that's nice. So you get that sort of sweet, salty, you know, in the balance of the uh, vinegar. Um, and then I've got like a little bit of a, you can put some tagareshi in there or you can put some like just chili flakes in there as well if you want, you know, just a little bit of heat. And it's really nice and you've got that nice texture in there. What did you say before? Had a... Togareshi. Togareshi, what is that? So that's like a Japanese uh, pepper season. Okay. So sort of dried chili and um, sesame in there. So it's really nice, so full of flavour. And oh, goodness, it smells so good. And look at that, I mean, look at that with the soy, you know, it's taking on all that flavour. You know, it's, beautiful. it's a beautiful fish mm. and, um, you know, it's perfect tuna for all these, uh, you know, soy and sesame. It just works really well. Does. So, as I said before, just leave that five minutes, just leave it. You know, just out on the side, okay. somewhere not too warm, um, and then that's just going to marinate and take on all that flavour. Do you want to, you know, do you want to time that to perfection, or does it not matter? Longer the better. No, yeah, uh, yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to leave it for hours long? and hours. Well, okay. You know, I mean, there's so much flavour and it's so delicate the tuna. I mean, five minutes is plenty of time. You know? Okay, nice. Right, what are we doing now? Right, so we got some uh, kupi mayo, so the Japanese mayo, which yep. is like the best mayo ever. So mm -hmm. it's really good. Nice. Uh, so you can either just serve a little bit of that on the side if you want, or you can make a wasabi mayo. So you just get this Ooh, wasabi okay. paste, a little bit of that goes in there, and That's then you, you mix that around. So I guess that would sort of calm it down, will it? You know, the mayo <laughs> and the wasabi? Or does it make it hotter? Sort of. <laughs> you put a lot in. That's good, you need to taste it. Okay. So mix all that in, give it a good taste, and yeah. see where we're at. <laughs> I feel like you're setting me up, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's really good. It's, uh, you know, it's optional as well. If you don't want it too spicy, just do a plain mayo, or even okay. just put a little bit into taste. But it's really good, and you've got all that richness of the tuna and all those flavours. So a little bit, like, if you eat it like that, it's quite strong. But a little bit in the whole dish is actually really nice. No, a actually, great flavour. Oh, yeah, no, it's starting to come through. Um, you know, that's really nice. Actually, I really prefer that. Brilliant. Avocado. Right, avocado. Jeez, so that's a good looking avocado, isn't it's it? Actually, it's probably the best one I've seen all year. My goodness. Um, so, yeah, really nice avocados now. So they're coming down in price, so really good um, uh, components go on a poke. Uh, so just cut it in half, take the skin, uh, take the, the, um, the seed out. Yeah. And then you can just uh, peel it off, peel the skin off, and then, you know, leave it in nice chunks. We'll just garnish it after. Uh, I've got that. We've got the wakami to go on, the crisp nori to go on, and I've got a little bit of rice in there. So we're going to make so it into a full with... meal. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great. So we're going to put the rice in and build everything up. So you'll see that at the end of the show. Yeah, you will indeed. You'll see the completed product. It smells incredible. And, of course, the full recipe and the ingredient list is on our website. OK, look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Now, that is a meal in itself. Wow. That is incredible. incredible. Mm.